So today I got a shocking news report for you guys. Uh, I need to add some clickbait every now and then. I'm sure that would increase the traffic to my YouTube channel. Uh, but I, I just can't get myself to do it. I, I think uh, clickbait is a little bit annoying. Um, and it's a short-term gain, but a long-term loss. Uh, anyway, with that said, uh, before we go into the actual shocking story, I need to uh, tell people what 4chan and 8chan is, right? Because they're just every time there's some people that have no clue about it. So... I'm going to enlighten you with my uh, superior knowledge and you're going to see that I'm probably wrong and a lot of people are going to get angry. But uh, the first type of these websites, I believe it was 2chan. And it started in Japan. And the whole idea behind these things, which are called image boards, is that everyone is anonymous. You know, like this is the true communist dream, like the true equality, the true utopia, where literally everyone posting there is anonymous so race gender none of these things matter it's just people posting opinions and you can't even have like a cult based following you can't be like oh this person said that and this person is untrustworthy no like literally everything you post there has to stay for itself and as i understand like i don't know who owns hn now but it was started by a guy named hot wheels and i think he sold it uh, ever since but uh what's really interesting about it is that you can post anything you want on HR. Literally anything with one exception. No CP. No pictures of little kitties. But other than that, you can show whatever you want. And the way it works, people go there and they create a board. I guess it would be like a subreddit where people choose a topic and some of them can even have like some rules that they enforce. Others choose not to. And then that's it, right? And you can have like conversations about uh, fitness. Uh, there's boards that have conversations about anime, about video games, about politics. Literally anything goes. Uh, but in the mainstream media, you're always going to see that they're focusing on the negatives. They're focusing on what's uh, horrible. And it's kind of disingenuous. Like it would be me making an interview about Facebook. And I would focus on the fact that, yeah, a lot of terrorists post their activity there. And that wouldn't be necessarily false, right? Like, there are a lot of live streams from terrorists and from ISIS and from the New Zealand shooter that were placed on Facebook. But that's not the whole truth. You know, that doesn't represent Facebook as a whole. And it's very disingenuous to say these things, which the mainstream media is doing. They're, they've completely demonized Achan. Uh, to the point where I believe Google even took it out from the search uh, engine. Like if you search for HN, you're not going to get the address. And uh, yeah, in the eyes of the public, it is a website that is completely demonized. Um, but it, it's also a website where a lot of interesting things happen. I'll link to you to one of my videos which went viral. Um, where people have even managed to find the location of terrorist cells and they send it to the U.S. government, so the U.S. government knew about it. They managed to crack down things that uh, world-renowned scientists and governments weren't able to crack down. Um, and and it's, it's wonderful to see how, you know, like all these anonymous people which have real jobs in real life, they come and they contribute to solve a math equation or, you know, to solve some biological answer and, and no one else managed to do it and they just pitch their resources together. And they come up with something that, uh, you know, even people that are paid for couldn't manage. So, so in, in a way, I, I'm really fascinated by the subculture. I'm really fascinated by it. But the mainstream media keeps demonizing it. And it's gotten to the point where a couple of vice journalists have broken into the house of uh, the owner of Achan, allegedly. Now, I know the first owner of Achan uh, was a guy going by the name of Hot Wheels, but ever since he sold the website to someone else. So I don't know anything about the new owner. Um, but it, it's, it's really astonishing right now. Of course, uh, all of this is still allegedly. However, the uh, Twitter account, Infinity Chan, has posted a very convincing screenshot. And it seems that the reporters uh, that were responsible for the break-in have sent their tweets to private. In other words, they decided to lock the doors and bar the windows to hide themselves from any criticism. But you, you kind of have to go into the mind of these journalists who decide it's okay to break into someone else's home. It's okay to break into someone else's private property. Usually talking with the people from the far left, the, the way they rationalize it is that the person deserves it. You know, it's, it's okay if it happens to a person we don't like. It's okay if it happens to a bad guy. 
And it's this mentality which gets them to believe that they're in the right, so it's perfectly okay to go on someone else's private property. Like, how were they expected to use the footage anyway? You know, like, this is insane. Like, the, the mindset you need to have in order to commit criminal activity in the search for cash, because this is like, it's a job for them. They're monetizing this, right? So, so they're now acting like common thugs, just breaking into people's houses. You know what's interesting? Like if I was on YouTube, if I were to do that, if I were to break, I don't know, into George Soros' home, right? I, I jump, I jump the fence, you know, like, and I'm a, a, an illegal on his property, right? And, and everyone on George Soros' property would be like, hashtag deport V. And now I'm on his property and, and I'm going there to film things from inside his house. If I were to do that, okay, if I were to do that, not only would I be arrested, like his private security would arrest me because he's wealthy, right? He's got the money to do that. But I would have been banned from YouTube because I'm, I'm doing criminal activity, right? Like if the recordings came up on my channel, I would be banned from YouTube. I would be banned from Patreon because that's like manifest observable behavior. The mainstream media would have like 24-7 coverage of it. Yeah, like, like this is what is astonishing. This news wasn't covered almost anywhere. Uh, and the, I, I have seen the press and, and respectable outlets cover things with far less evidence. Like, for example, the Mark Smollett incident, right? All he had was his word. He, he went there and he said, yeah, two people did this. And then, like, the entire press covered it. However, when the owner of a major website, and this is of public interest, right? He claims that some journalist got in and he's got pictures and photos and evidence to talk about it. You think like some some outlets would go to these journalists and I like okay what what do you have to comment on it? Like did you did you do it or didn't you do it? Like th this is interesting. You know maybe they didn't do it. I'm willing to say you know maybe they didn't do it. Maybe all of this is a hoax. But you think this is a story of public interest that people would want to know? Like should I should I lock my doors and, and make sure? Uh, that I'm safe at night because apparently journalists are wandering the streets. You know, why, why couldn't they have sent their personal army on Tifa like normal outlets do, you know? Especially German outlets, I hear. Like, they write, uh, you, you get like a cat lady writing an article about this is a bad person and then Antifa shows up. Uh, so, apparently, A-chan also tweeted, just putting this out there in case they're planning uh, through HBO and Vice News to use footage they've obtained without permission or consent. In other words, like the owner, I guess, is saying that they will sue if they release any footage from his house. Uh, this comes shortly after a barrage of articles have been attacking Jim Watkins and the A-Chan image board because of Christchurch New Zealand shooter would sometimes use A-Chan. The media has been pressuring for the censorship of A-Chan, even though the shooter live streamed the entire massacre on Facebook. Funny how that works, isn't it? Right. But do you know why? Because the mainstream media is not using A-Chan. They're using Facebook, so they don't care. And I, I, I also think that they want to make it into the public's image that HN is a bad place. Um, and if you go there, you're, you're going to be brainwashed or something. Uh, but yeah, so it's, uh, it's really interesting that this happened. And it doesn't surprise me that Vice News is doing so poorly. Apparently, Biz, uh, Disney lost millions of dollars by placing it to Vice News. And, and with shit like this, when, when their reporters are acting this way, I'm not surprised. Like... It used to be that people were outraged and they were sharing Vice's articles because, like, look, look how bad these people are. Look what, look what they're writing. Look what garbage they're putting out. And, and people would, uh, you know, spread the anger, if you will, the outrage. Uh, but nowadays, it's not even that. Like, people expect, yeah, well, it's Vice News, you know. What, what, what do you expect from them? It's like uh, talking to, to a person that's suffering from some sort of mental retardation. It's like, well, you know, like, you, you need to understand the guy has a problem. Like, it's not his fault he's saying that, you know, it's, it's not his fault he was born this way. And it's the same with Vice, I guess. It's not, it's not their fault they're born this way, you know, it's, they, they can't help it. You know, like, what, do you expect them to act like other people? Other people have it better. They have the privilege of a normal functioning brain. But we're talking about people who work at Vice. I don't think it's all of them, by the way, but it does take a, a special type of person to, to break into a person's house. How, how on earth were, were they even going to use that footage? It's, it's mind-boggling. Like, the person would be like, what, who was on my property? They would probably say, oh, we had the source. You know, someone, someone gave us the footage. Someone emailed it to us. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, they're, they're desperate, is what they are. De de definitely, like they're losing so much money, they, they need to spark some controversy, they need to do something in order to become relevant again. But instead of like putting actual good journalism, instead of putting actually good stories, they, they have to break into people's property in order to get attention. Just do let me know what you think. I'll be looking forward to the comment section. Remember to thumb up the video if you like it. And, uh, you know, you can contribute financially to support me if you like it even more. Uh, right. So I'll see you all later. I'll be releasing another video today. And until then, take care.